The brain allows us to perceive the outside world, but it has a trick. It can make us think we are experiencing reality, even when we're not. You've probably realized this when looking at visual illusions. For the most part, your brain has been good to you. You can trust it. But imagine, you're taking a walk when you start to hear whispers. You look around and begin to feel scared. You feel like you're in danger, but you're not sure why. You try to find somewhere that feels safe, but you can't. You wonder why others aren't also afraid, and you wish someone would help you. Maybe this happens a few times. You start losing trust in your own senses, in your own brain. But everyone around you thinks you're on drugs, or worse, they think you're making it all up. They think you should know the difference between what your brain is telling you and reality. You don't know what to do. Even though you're trying your hardest, you just can't make yourself act like everyone else. You want to, more than anything, but everyone thinks you're just not trying hard enough. This is Susie, and that's Steve. They have something in common. They both have mental illness. What comes to mind when you hear those words? What assumptions do you make? The definition of mental illness is a wide range of conditions that affect mood, thinking, and behavior. Doesn't tell you much, does it? Mental illness can produce a huge range of symptoms. However, in our society, we often make assumptions about individuals with mental illness. For example, we assume they're less intelligent, so we treat them differently. We take away their choices, we take away their privacy. We assume we won't have a good conversation with them, so we don't even try. We assume they're violent, so we're afraid of them and avoid them. We assume they should be able to recognize that their reality, their perceptions, are incorrect and change them so we look down on them because of their confusion. We assume that somehow it's their fault, that they brought it on themselves, so we lack empathy and love. Most of all, we assume that we won't like to be around them, that we can't learn anything from them, so we miss out on an incredible opportunity. So how can we create positive interactions with individuals with mental illness? Do not assume they also have cognitive disabilities or are less intelligent than the general population. In fact, many people with mental illness have above-average intelligence. Do not assume they are more likely to be violent than people without mental illness. This is a myth. Each individual is different, and their behavior is related to each specific disorder. Some are more calm, some are more active, some may be in danger of hurting themselves. Definitely do not assume they brought it on themselves. Mental illnesses are caused by a combination of genetic, biological, psychological, and environmental factors. They are not a reflection of the person's character, and getting better isn't a matter of willpower. Basically, just do not assume. Treat them like anyone else, with respect, privacy, dignity, honesty, and love. Most of all, just enjoy who they are, right now, as a person.